Gentlemen, awesome to be back with you on MGTOW Money. Today's topic, how to F up, I mean cuck up your life. Before I get into that, thanks to the ongoing support from the Patreon investors in this channel. Thank you men for your continuing support of this channel. Gentlemen, see the video description today. Become a Patreon supporter of this channel now. Before I get into today's topic, a quick book recommendation. Book title, Survive Like a Spy. Real CIA operatives reveal how they stay safe in a dangerous world and how you can too. This is a great fun read. I think many of you will enjoy it. See the video description today for that excellent book. And take note of the slides. They go along very appropriately with today's topic, which of course is... How to cuck up your life. All right, men, you ever seen a homeless guy? Or how about you just know people around you, you know men around you, that frankly, you do not want your life to be like them. In other words, you do not admire them. In other words, again, when they tell you to go north, you go south. I've been around men of this type throughout my entire life. I've given real-world examples in previous videos of them. I've related stories of men that I know or that I've read about, similar type things. In other words, these guys have frankly screwed up their lives massively despite having tremendous advantages and things that have been handed to them or they've fallen into. In other words, again, these guys are anti-role models. They are people who you do not want to be like. You know, they're the types of guys who've got all types of addictions, not just eat simple ones like smoking. I'm talking about serious ones, gambling, food, booze. They're doing things where you do not want to be like them, where they're in a loveless marriage and sex is a once a year event at best. Gentlemen, if this is where you do not want your life to be, then you need to listen up. Now, before I get into that, a quick word from our sponsor. Anybody notice that the stock market just hit a record high again? Gentlemen, I don't know what you're waiting for. I know many of you have already jumped on the Webull bandwagon and gotten your free shares of stock from Webull, but I know many of you are hesitant, you're not sure, whatever. I don't know what you're waiting for. I've been talking about this for about 18 months now. I just put additional monies out of my own pocket into my Webull account. You can grab two free shares of stock if you're an American and you're 18 years of old. 18 years old. Go to the link today in the video description. Open an account with Webull. You'll get a free share just for opening an account. You have to do anything. Put a dollar into the account, one USD, and you will get a second free share of stock. Go to the video description right now. Open up your Webull account now. Back on topic. A consistent theme that I've seen with so many men who are unhappy, they're depressed, they're stressed, whether it be to various elements, whether they've got a bad job, whether it be heavily in debt. But there's another element that's rarely talked about. And I often think about Robin Williams in his passing some years ago that I talked about. And you know what that element is? A lot of these men are cucked. Now, what, what, what am I talking about when I say cucked? I'm talking about they're henpecked. In other words, in simple terms, men, their wives... And nearly always men who are, that I'm describing are married. Their wives are, quote, wearing the pants in the family, if you will. In other words, they're men, they're men that are sort of being subordinate to the women. In other words, yes, dear, no, dear. You ever heard happy wife, happy life? You know that phrase? You know, when you hear that from a man, you can almost be sure they're, they're, they're insinuating that, oh, yeah, dear, I'm a cuck to you. In other words, they're letting their wife, and sometimes their girlfriend, but many times it's the wife, play the leader, the alpha role. Let me say very clearly, men, this is a road to ruin. Let me take it a step further. This is the type of hell that many men are going to find themselves in, especially those of you who are going to choose to get married to women in the Western world. Now, let me give you an idea of a lifestyle, a way of living, some things that you can do to make sure that you don't end up in that same cursed, and yes, it would be a cursed purgatory. How do you make this, ensure this doesn't happen to you? You only got to get a few things right. One, don't get married. It's pretty simple, isn't it? Especially don't get married to a Western woman 
a former actress, a woman who's older than yourself, and a woman who's probably been plowed more than the farmer's field. You know what I'm talking about, men. Go look at the video description for the photo there. The point being is that If you're going to get married, listen to me carefully, because I know many of you, 80% of you probably are seriously considering at some point in your life, you're going to change, and I see the the decline in MGTOW, etc. going on now. The point is, is that for many men, most men, dare I say, marriage is going to be their first step to an expensive divorce. Again, let me say this clearly. I'm not bashing on women. I'm not even bashing on marriage. Let me be very specific. Don't overestimate risk and underestimate ruin. Marriage is probably, for many men, if not for most men in the Western world, the road to ruin. Doing simple things like investing in the stock market, speculating in cryptos, or buying stocks, etc. The bottom line is those are risky type things. Those are probably not going to be ruinous if you have any common sense whatsoever. Two, realize that fame and admiration, guess what? Again, that is a curse. That is one of those things that you've got to avoid. I I see so many guys who are trying to jump on the the YouTube bandwagon, not so much on MGTOW, of course, now, because we know that's a dirty word. As a matter of fact, that's hate speech to talk about MGTOW, but doing all types of videos and they're trying to be known and famous, etc., and and they're trying to do videos and do other things to generate income. But the bottom line is, man, so many of these guys are ultimately going to regret it. I virtually guarantee you. You can even see news stories about how so many of them, after they build up these huge multi-million subscriber type bases in video counts, etc., are absolutely destroyed. They are burnt out because you know why? Because your audience then is expecting something from you and you've got to act a certain way and they want you to do certain things and you're becoming more and more addicted, keyword, addicted to that fame and that uh, dopamine of attention hits, etc. I can't believe how many times I hear about other guys on other channels, again, not MGTOW, who are talking about, oh, my subscriber count is this or that and why isn't higher, or maybe my Twitter account is blowing up or it hasn't done, etc. You know what? Who cares? Who cares? You know what, men, if, if this if this applies to you, you should be doing something else to earn money other than trying to monetize yourself. Three, most importantly, listen carefully, internalize this. You're better off in depressed men being alone than you are with a bunch of people who aren't going anywhere. I can't put it in more simple terms than that. If you're alone and you're feeling lonely and depressed and despondent, whatever, I get it. That's okay. You know what? Congratulations. Welcome to the human race. You don't think I don't feel that way? Yeah, sometimes I do. But the point is, is that it will be far worse for you. Far worse. Exponentially worse. If you're spending your time around low energy people who aren't going anywhere, who aren't doing anything, and I don't care if they're the, you're the closest family, the closest friends that you have, you know, the kids you've known since the second grade, whatever, it's irrelevant. If you are spending a lot of time around those people, you are ultimately really doing harm to yourself, far more harm to yourself. Those types of people are going to stifle you. They will crush you as a man. They will crush your growth as a man because that's what you are. You are a living, evolving human being, just like a plant, a tree, an animal, whatever. You are moving forward with your life And you do not need those types of people. And again, I don't care what their relation is to you. You don't need those type of people around you. You can choose, my friend, about the people that you're around. You just need to choose carefully. You just need to choose selectively. Yeah, it's great to have hundreds of people around. But you know what? You don't need hundreds of people around. You don't need to have 5,000 fake book friends on your Facebook or whatever it is. The point is, you just need a couple. I talked about this in the past. You need a small group of people. You need one good friend. That's all that you need. And even if you don't have one good friend who's moving forward and doing something with their life, even if you don't have one, you know what? You just stay subscribed to this channel because there is one guy who, frankly, is probably going to maybe inspire you a little bit. 
and frankly is also, he's going to move forward with his life. You stay subscribed here. We're going to move forward together. Gentlemen, as always, hit the like button if you found this profitable. John Galt, out.